everyone. I'm Lala Bad. Welcome. If you're new here, please take the time out to subscribe today. I come to you to discuss something very important. I think that you all should know. If you are or if you have been following me and you support and, you sh and uh, you've been watching, then you know that I've been on a no-buy. Uh, the goal was to be on a no-buy for um, three months. That was the goal. Now, have I kept up? that goal <laughs> um oh, what's your name laura linda my shitty reviews i'm so sorry for your name but hello girl what's up boo um what was your comment i'm sorry <laughs> i just saw your name oh okay well here, here let me tell you what's going on so the title of this julie i was close <laughs> wait okay so I'm starting to pick. I'm trying, trying to pick up my leg, girl. I can't even pick up my legs. <laughs> I have no movement since the quarantine. But okay, so I'm not quitting YouTube. But it, I'm, this is about uh, the title is about my no buy. Okay, so March, I was good. Let me tell you why I was good. I was good in March. I did not buy anything um, besides like groceries and shit. And I was good in March because the whole COVID coronavirus thing happened. And that was the least of my worries. My concerns was survival, uh, survival and, you know, that all that. And then April hit. And right before April, I want to say like the whole Ulta beauty sale happened. And there was one thing I wanted. The one thing I really, really, hey, Lori, the one thing I really, really wanted was the Cover FX Flush. Now, you know, if you know that Lori, Miss Lori is the one that turned me on to them. And I wanted the one that she has, which is a mulberry. It's like a purple one because I own a different one. Um, and then they also have it in a bronzer. And so I was like, okay, I think I'm going to do, you need to stop. Okay, we're going to no buy, girl, because let me tell you. So I was like, okay, I cannot do a no buy. Like, why did I do this to myself? Where were my friends that told me you cannot handle that? Like, <laughs> I told my friend, she goes, yeah, I knew. She was like, girl, that's too much. Three months is too long. And I was like, well, why weren't you there? Stop. Like, don't support me. When I say I want to do a no buy, do not support me, girl. Um, I was like, don't, like, if I'm talking crazy like that, you need to stop me immediately. Like, just be like, Lala, maybe do a month and then. So I'm going on, I quit the no buy. Hey, Michaela. Hey, Sarah, I quit the no buy. I'm on a low buy. I'm on a budget bitch buy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lori. I know Lori, she's like, she keeps me in check because she's all like, Lala, because I was all like, I want to get this, I want to get that. She goes, Lala, slow your row. Remember, you're on a budget. So my budget for each week don't blame your friends i'm gonna blame y'all because y'all should have stopped me talking crazy three months y'all should have stopped me y'all know y'all know i don't have no y'all know i have no will like no willpower okay so <laughs> so um but okay so then i want to show you what what i have gotten so far now this actually the thing that i wanted to show y'all um is something that i actually needed is soap so i don't feel like that has anything to do with beauty you know what I mean? Because I got to, I mean, my ass and my face are so far apart. So <laughs> three months was long and I think I set myself up to fail, but I really don't feel like a failure because I feel like we saved, which was the most important thing to do at that time, which was in March. So that has helped us like get through the months. Well, it's April only, but that's going to help us in the upcoming months, that whole saving. Um, I, I did, I, I didn't purchase makeup, but I did pay my afterpay bill, which I got, was I was on zero. I said I was on zero. Um, and also paid my Beautylish. I only have one more payment for Beautylish. And I'm not going to do, I don't think I'm going to go any, do anything like that again on Beautylish. I mean, I'm not, I can't say no. I can't, okay, I'm going to just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop making promises to myself because I just end up hurting myself. All right, so <laughs> what I needed was from divinity culture now if you don't follow me on instagram then you don't know this i think i've done a couple hauls from her but y'all know that that i call it orgasm soap 
Hey, Mary Lou, how are you? Long time no see, girl. Orgasm soap. It's basically ginger nectarine soap. And I do want to gift. I got a couple to gift. I want to gift. So I bought a total of seven. Seven. And this is what they look like. Now this soap smells like I can't. It smells so good. Um, it's called Nectarine Ginger Burst. And it's homemade soap from a, a girl that has a shop on Instagram. And she's so cool. Let me tell you, because this is all I bought. I bought seven bars of soap. We're doing good over here, girl. Okay, so I got a total of seven bars. I have one in the shower, but here. here. Hi, Lourdes. Hey, girl. Okay, so that's all I bought. Let me show you what she hooked me up with. By the way, if you want 15%, I think it's 15% off, use the code Lala Badlands and you can get hooked up, okay? So let me show you. The total was 40, 49. The shipping was 825. But with my coupon, you take off seven something. So eyeliners and 250 of skin. Ooh. Girl, I think you're in trouble. <laughs> um, Julie, I think I'm talking about not, not like by your husband or anybody. I'm thinking like I think you you need help, girl. We need to inter <laughs> we need to intervene for Julie. <laughs> um, but with my code, you got seven dollars. So you basically pay for shipping using my code. Okay. So but let me show you what she threw in here. She threw in Hi, Jose Loves Beauty. Oh, Joss. I mean, Joss. <laughs> That's all like, Jose Loves Beauty. <sighs> stay ready. This is a stay. So she makes candles now. And she hooked me up with this candle. Yeah, it's Joss. I, yeah, I'm sorry, girl. Um, but this is what it looks like. I'm trying to open it. It's really pretty. Oh, that smells good. Hi, Tammy. Hi, JR. Thank you. Um, It's like really... Okay, wait, that's not it though, Lori. That's not it, girl. It's really soft. But I don't know the flavor. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's a massage and body oil candle. What, can you use it for massaging? I don't know. It smells so good. Okay. The next thing she hooked me up with is this. This is massage and body oil. Another oil candle. So I got two. Ooh, I'll get, maybe I'll get this one. Or maybe I'll give it away. Mmm, it smells so good. Hey, Hortensia. Hi, my love. That smells good. Okay, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to give this away. Maybe I'll do a giveaway today. A bar of soap and a candle. How about that? I'm going to have to teach her how to use the... Because I haven't left my house. I've been in... I've basically been quarantined since May 12th, March 12th, March 12th. Um, I did go in my car two times, but that's it. Like, uh, I haven't been out. Um, this is a whipped soap sugar scrub. She was so generous, and I and I messaged her. I was like, girl, this is too much. She goes, we'll send it back then. <laughs> I was like, no, you're not taking it from me, girl. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to touch it because, yeah. I'm keeping this. I don't know. Would y'all accept anything since it's coronavirus um, pandemic right now? Let me know. Uh, this is a cucumber mint sage whipped sugar scrub. It's a divinity culture. Here, let me show you. I'm a, I'll put a link after this so you can head over to her shop and check her out. But this is like a whipped body scrub. Body scrub. And then um, one more thing. And y'all going to love this. Yes, mint sugar. This is called the Bitch I'm a Unicorn Soap. I am not lying. It has a little horn. This is a soap. I think it's a soap. Yeah, it's a soap. Bitch, I'm a unicorn. So that's what she gifted me. 
So that's cool, right? I think it's cool. I don't know. All right. So that's so I don't think that that's that was breaking my no buy. And by the way, this I purchased this like on March 31st or something, right? Okay. Yeah, she's she's cool people. All right. And then I um uh, okay, so let me tell you what happened. So remember, I wanted that cover effects from Ulta. April 1st. Okay, you take care. Um, see you around. Yeah, keep in touch. Okay, so. Okay, that didn't break the note by right because it's soap, right? <laughs> and so I went, I went to Ulta to get the cover effects. Um, and I ordered it along with um along with this right here right but they were 19 dollars, right hi squid squidward we're spongebob <laughs> um this palette here now this is a palette i'm wearing on my eyes this i've made two different looks because i want to show it to you because this this palette is so random it is so random now i did say that my budget was 50 uh-huh uh-huh i did say that mm -hmm. and um so <laughs> I got a bronzer blush 1919. This one I think was 24. I'm already past 50, I think, at that moment. Um, but hold on. There's a there's a, a a kicker or whatever they call it. Let me tell you. Um, and then I purchased a, a dandruff shampoo. I don't think that's breaking my no buy because I need it. Y'all know I have dandruff issues. You can see it's irritated here. That's something I needed. So that doesn't count. I did use Afterpay, so it was only 29 bucks. Okay, <laughs> so let me show you this palette. Look how random this palette is. Look, look at this. This right here does not go with these. And hey, mom, still glamorous. This doesn't go with this or this. Well, maybe this, but not this. It's so odd. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, let me see if I can do two different looks. And this is what I came up with. Every day, this one is like every night. <laughs> um, but stay tuned. I did make a swatch video so you can see up close swatches and um, see me create the look. It's interesting, but it's definitely the layout. Is There's like no, there's no color. Still, like there's. They've been coming out with the most randomest ass shit. And I fall for it every time. <laughs> oh, okay. So then, right? Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to use those glitters. But they got me. They just got me. They get me every time and I fall for it. Okay. You like the bright side? Okay, well, that's this area here. Um... Oh, you like this side of my face, you mean? <laughs> it doesn't pour stand out. Okay, TikTok. I'm on TikTok now. If you don't know, my name is... Thank you, Weight Watchers. I'm on a budget. Um, if you don't know, I ha I'm trying to get Raul famous on TikTok, okay? So y'all go subscribe to us there. It's Lala Badlands. That's why I've been back and forth because I don't know if, if I'd wear the glitter. Yeah, you, you want to get it, but you don't know yet. Okay, so we're on TikTok, and I'm trying to get Raul famous there. He has one video where he's got like 1,400 views, so that's cool, right? And um, because he wants to be famous so bad. <laughs> he doesn't want to be famous at all. Um, and so TikTok is constantly... Yes, girl, TikTok, I don't know. It's been, a, I guess it's been a while for a minute, but I just like, I could stay up all night long. I think people, let me tell you why I like it. Because on Instagram, it's all about celebrities and Instagram models and clout chasing. But on TikTok, you have to be creative. And I think that, and I think that he, it's, it's all like normal people like you and me that are like famous because they're so creative. And the dances and the pranks and, uh, you know, funny commentary is just, it's, it's brilliant. And I love it. And it's a vibe. So if you're into shit like that, head over to TikTok and follow me. Lori's on there too. Um, and yeah. 
All right, so they do this thing. Yeah, it'll give you a good, good laugh. Girl, I cannot be on Instagram because it's all conspiracy theories and political shit, all about the coronavirus. Facebook's the same. Um, so I'm just like, I need something different. Snapchat is all about the cochinos. So I just be on TikTok. Okay, um, so they do this thing where they show you like little reviews or products that they find on Amazon or whatnot. Amazon hauls, they're really, really... Um, interesting and hi Mandy gives my sunset vibes absolutely thank you you love to tattoo good yeah it's awesome um so this is what I got this right here this is called the tag band now this is what she looks like and it's basically for skin tags yeah it has you crying yeah I'm so yeah I'm so glad I found it hi Brianna so if you know if you've seen my makeup videos you've seen these skin tags that i have been blessed with <laughs> and they're everywhere on my neck and sometimes i notice when i talk to people in person they kind of they're kind of looking at them and then when i lift my arms i have like a really big one you see and it's on this side too and they're huge and they're it's something that i'm very insecure about and so and i've been forever looking for a solution now, if y'all recall, y'all recall that I told y'all I had one on my vagina lip and I the pubic hair wrapped around it and it fell off. Do y'all remember that? <laughs> you haven't used it yet? Okay, so I don't remember how much it cost on Amazon and I don't think this is breaking my, no, my low buy either. This is not a part of that. You used the clip. I don't have the balls because the one on my vagina lip that one hurt the one that was my pubic so this is the same concept except it's not pubic hair it's um it's like a rubber band that it suffocates the war or not the war the skin tag and it falls off and i was telling a friend because like let me show you so you see how it's like just a gadget it puts and it, it puts it on like that and it suffocates it and it kills it um i was telling my friend like in the comments of this product they were like you don't want to be cooking. You don't want that person to be cooking when they have these on because they fall out. You don't know when they're going to fall out. Um, and what if, like, someone eats one? So, she used horse hair? Yeah. Well, see, because whenever I would put my natural hair down, it would always get caught on this, on them. And it would hurt so bad. Hi, Willie. Um... My stepdad used to get a cigarette and he used to burn them off with a cigarette. I know, Hortensia, you're telling me, girl. I was like, that's true. They're going to fall off and I'm not going to know when. That's so gross. I know. So I don't know. I was thinking about doing. Hi, Justice. Yeah, bro, will be like, guess that's the. And then, and then I'll tell him what it is and he'll probably end up eating it because he's so gross. Because he loves me that much. <laughs> I'm not like bragging about it, but he does shit like that. Um, <laughs> that's so gross. Yeah, they pop. Okay, so when you burn them with a cigarette, right? When you burn them with a cigarette, they go pop. They pop like a real loud pop. And I can, I get ñañaras just thinking about that. So yeah, I wanted to do a video. Let me know, do y'all think it's gross? to do a close-up video on how to use this. And if it works, let me know. So I ain't going to do it if y'all think it's gross. I don't want to gross them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's going to hurt or not. But yeah, so that's so far. Oh, and I got, I got other stuff coming. I'm so excited. Yes, he does love me so much. <laughs> uh, girl, he'll tell you too. Um, what else has been going on? Yeah, that's it, really. A clipper. That's what um my um I think Glamour's mom said that or Julie Julie said that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't got the balls. You mean like one of these right here? Where is it at? Uh, I don't have it. 
So I've heard also if you put um, apple cider vinegar on a Band-Aid or a cotton ball and you place it on, I should just do a whole, like a whole video on all the, um, the things that people say. I have enough. Okay, I have enough. And you know what I think? I'd be like, man, Beyonce has them. So I'm not ashamed to have them. Can I just tell y'all something? They don't grow back. When you clip them, would they grow back when you like when you put a rubber band or a hair around them? Okay, let me tell you something. Um, when I was a little girl, and maybe I got maybe she, this lady put a curse on me. Let me tell you what happened. So when I was a little girl, I was on a bus, right? <laughs> My husband tied a piece of thread and left it there, and it the week it dried and fell off. Okay. Yeah, that's what the vinegar does too. So when I was a little girl, my mama was riding the bus with us. And I remember looking across, there was this old, like an older lady. And she had, they looked like skin tags, but they were like balls. Um, kind of like those, you know, those things that people get on their ear, but they were all over her face. And, you know, I was a kid. So of course I was like looking at her, you know, I mean, I'm like, less than like four years old and um i guess she did, she was offended of course as she should have been uh, but i couldn't stop staring i was just like like looking and then keloids yeah but it was all over her face and um and it was on her arms on her whole body was she had them and and so then she she looked at me like ugly and then i looked at her ugly mind you i'm four years old my mom said I was always really sassy and really, I really didn't give a fuck since I was born. So she was like looking at me ugly. So I looked at her ugly and I was like doing this to her. <laughs> and then my mom was like, that. my mama goes, you used to always um, like start shit for me. Like, cause I'd be like, boo. Yeah, but I was a kid. <laughs> so I was like, I wonder if she put a curse on me. I don't know. I mean, it's not that bad, but these right here, these came here. I don't know. They were gross. Anyway. <laughs> so what else is going on with you, you, you all? How are y'all all surviving? Yeah, and circulation. Yeah, I know that like overweight. They say it's because I'm over. They blame everything on overweight though. Let's be real. By the way, can we just talk about my foundation? Okay, YouTube. Um, this foundation, I haven't touched it in a minute. It's like NYX can't stop, won't stop, and um. It's so bomb, like full coverage as F. The only thing is the top sucks. Yeah, I'm staying home, I ain't risking it. The top in this thing, look, it gets, it dries up in there and then it gets clogged up. So to use it, I have to poke it through here, poke it through here, poke it through here. It kind of makes me mad. Uh, Ruth's fixing my car. Um, we lost Juju yesterday. I'll go back to work tomorrow. I put in for some sick time, so I've been home for a couple of days. Hey, it's a break, right? <laughs> I'm just going all crazy up in here with these kids and their school and my classes and their teachers and the baby. Oh, girl. Um, Oh, you, that's why you don't use it? Okay, well, that's what you got to do. You got to poke in those three areas, girl. There's a lot of pokes. It's like, I feel like it, it's it's work that I was not, you know, wanting to do. And I own two bottles and they're, they're not, they've barely been used. And so now I got to do that every time I use it. But you know what? I think it's worth it because, I mean, I don't have no filters on, girls. I ain't gonna toot my own horn, but. Oh, Juju? He escaped. Here's the thing. Let me tell you what happened. 
it was raining. It's been raining here. And so he always cries to go to the front. Now his area is the back, but he always cries to go to the front. We only let Coco to the front because she always comes back. He goes crazy and dis disappears. So it was raining, right? Like rain, heavy rain. Your skin. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> so it was raining. So I was like, okay, let me trick him. That way he feels like he tricked me, you know? So I was like, okay, Juju, go outside, baby. It was raining. I knew he was going to come back inside. So he goes out. He's like all happy. He goes outside. He sees that it's rain. He goes around the car, comes back in. So, you know, he tricked. He thinks he tricked me, but I tricked him. But he got the taste of going outside in the front, you know, so he would stop bothering me because I wanted the door to be open and get, you know, some kind of sunlight in here or not sunlight, but some kind of, you know, when you have the house open. Um, and so then I told Rue what I did, you know, the little trick I played on Juju. So it had stopped raining and, Ra and Juju was crying to go outside. So Raul opens the door and it's not raining. So Juju runs off and disappears. And Raul goes, oh, he'll come back, right, babe? I'm like, wait, it's not raining. He's not going to come back. Sure enough, six hours later, he never came back. So we were out and thank you, works. Um, <clears throat> I got in my car like I always do. Raul's up and down. Scream. The neighbors already know us because they're like, oh, there they go again. We're, Raul's out there with the umbrella juju. I have that one, Mandy. I use that. It was my favorite. So, you know, we're in my car going all through the neighborhood. And then I start, and I can't find him for nothing. I don't hear him. And then there's like a neighborhood dog that's his buddy. And um, that dog was just roaming. I go, why isn't Juju with him? Juju would always be with him. Why are they not together? So I was like, that's it. I said, I don't feel him. I don't, I, I don't feel him. I think he's gone. So then things start going through my head and I'm like, the neighbors, I know they got him. I know they got, okay, Julie. I, I'm like, I know my neighbors got him. They're inside with my dog and they're trying to punish me because I put him out when it was raining. And, and, then, <laughs> and then I'm like, no, no, that teenager that drives through here really quickly, he ran over Juju and he threw him in the sewer, in the, in the, in the um, drain pipe. And then I told her, no, 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 the other neighbor, the other neighbor, why? Because she was outside when we were out there looking for Juju. She was sweeping her driveway. It was water on her driveway. She was sweeping it. And I'm like, she did it. Why? Who sweeps the driveway when it's raining? Why was she sweeping the driveway? Was she trying to sweep the blood away? So I go, go look at her trash. So Raul's out there looking at everyone's trash can. <laughs> and then I was like, I can't. We went to, girl, we went everywhere. Couldn't find them. And I was hysterical. I was crying, emotional. I started blaming Rue. I was like, you did this. This That's my baby. I'm never going to see him again. So he had to put me to sleep. He gave me tranquilizers. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Quinn. He basically gave me Benadryl. He's like, you you need to go to sleep. You need to calm down. So he gave me Benadryl. I knocked out. Around 3 o'clock in the morning, I hear Raul go, babe, he's here. I'm like, where is he? I was all drowsy. He goes, Juju's here. Because he gets up at, at night to use a restroom. And every time he would get up to use a restroom, he would go open the front door to see if he's here. He said he opened the door. Juju was on the porch, 3 o'clock in the morning, licking his own balls. And he came inside. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> yeah, I was, girl, I was hysterical. Like, my baby. That's my baby. I was, I was ready to, like, end it all. Because that's... <laughs> That's my baby. That's sad to say, I know, but that's my baby. <clears throat> yeah, I'm glad he came home too. It's a relief. And he's so now, so, oh, so when I woke up this morning, I'm like, where were you? And he just had his, his head down like this. And I'm like, I was so mad at him. I didn't talk to him. He didn't go to my room. He stayed. He knew he was in trouble. He knew he was punished. He's not getting a treat. Mm -mm. You know how when mothers, their kids are missing, they're panicking, but then when they get them, they slap the shit out of them. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
but I did it. Yeah, I'm glad he's back too. Hi, Monique. Yeah. But I was already blaming everybody. <laughs> but you know what? I wonder where he was. Rogue was baby. He was probably because he still has his balls. And that's another issue that we need to fix. We need to go cut his balls off. But I really don't want to do that to him. But but anyway, so Raul goes, he probably was, you know, running a train on some puppy down the street. You're welcome, Monique. Monique did a live. We all showed up, supported her. She did a beautiful look. She she wasn't feeling the look, but she, it was so pretty. It was so pretty. Girl, I don't know what, what you didn't like, but I think it's the fact that you did your eyes first. That's why you should do your face first and then do your eyes. Yeah, there's a little hussy. It's this little bitch. And a female dog is a bitch anyway, so I'm going to say this. She's a little bitch. She's a little hussy. Because she she be effing all the dogs. And I told Juju, you're going to end up getting her pregnant. And then I'm going to have to pay child support. She's going to be trying to bring her puppies over here. I'm going to have to take care of them. My cat was in heat and ran out the front door during a snowstorm. I couldn't get her back. And she... Oh, my. What? That's so sad. Hi, Tish. Yeah, so... um. Yeah, that little hussy. <laughs> I was like, you don't see her with all them other dogs. He's just looking at me. He's going. <laughs> he knows I don't like her. I don't like her. Not for my son. He's so handsome. <laughs> no one's good for Juju. Yeah, that's really sad, girl. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling awkward now. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Um, <laughs> you want an Easter basket full of chocolate? What have I been doing? Oh, I made, I've been baking. I've been baking, cooking, which I shouldn't be doing because then that means I eat. Um, you know what I I want to know is how many have it has has anyone been I mean how what's the average gain weight like have in have y'all been weighing yourselves I'm gonna say for me it's like twanky it was like twanky twenty I can see it in my face like. Like, my fat doesn't go where it's supposed to go. Like, I want it in my titties. I want it in my butt. But it don't go there. It goes on my belly and my face. About 10. Oh, that pozole was so good. Hi, sweet. Yeah. Because, you know, it's it's um, it's um called boredom eating. Bored eating. Eating bored. Eating while bored. I don't know what it's called, but boredom you know there's i mean what are you supposed to do if, if you're not talking because i know i mean i don't know for me i don't talk to nobody so i gotta move my mouth somehow you gain about five yeah definitely gonna be an issue uh my doctor wanted me to go in i was like no i'm not risking it I'm not risking my health to go help my health. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> you haven't gained? Well, good for you, girl. All jealous. The gyms? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been to a gym. Your bikini? Girl, I think your bikini had been in stores before the Rona. Oh, shit. You been sipping wine? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I don't, I mean, I tried. Like, I tried to do a, a pescatarian diet, 
but it's hard to cook two different meals you know like when my husband's eating ribeye steak and i'm eating you know salmon for the hundredth time i'm just like um this diet's not for me <laughs> i need a diet where i can just eat really good shit that's not gonna happen i think maybe if, no that's not gonna happen I mean, I'm 39, so I mean, I feel like that's a long time to live at the way I've been eating, so. <laughs> no, you can't get the kids drunk. <laughs> Girl, well, I guess you're just gonna have to drink it all. I mean, that's the only solution to your problem. <laughs> have you been coming up with like um, crazy drinks? Yeah, reviews. I look 20. <laughs> Y'all know how I get with a compliment. <laughs> you have one. Yeah, I have some wine. It's a bottle. It's a screw top, by the way. So cheap, but it's so good. So cheap and so good. That sounds like me. <laughs> Unless you have two personality for for all, on for me and one for my yeah that's right for your personalities gotta go for now okay Arthensia yeah it was good seeing you I think I'm gonna go too all right everyone uh thank you for um, showing up and supporting me semi sweet I can't do red wines I only like um like um what's Pinot Grigio. Just try for good for the kids, mashed potatoes, chicken, greens, beans, mac, cheese, casserole, nothing crazy healthy, but good stuff for them. Yeah, it's still good for their bodies. That's, it's, it's like, um, it sounds like comfort food to me. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mandy. Your My workout is to the refrigerator and then to the stove and then back to my room. Um, I did get it. Like, I feel like I'm, I don't know if I'm building clots in my blood, but I did, my legs did feel weird. So I got up and I started doing the YouTube, um, walk at home. And then, um, I got my little stretchy thing and I started doing that. Raul was super proud of me. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say bye. I love y'all. Thank y'all for showing up. I appreciate everything, uh, or all the comments and all the love that y'all showed. Um, thank y'all for the ones that stuck with me through the no buy. It's over and done with. I done quit. I'm on a low buy. Fifty dollars <laughs> is a goal, but I'm not sticking to it. I am doing better. Can I? I wanted to say one more thing. I want to say one more thing. I did go to Beautylish to pick up a Sonia G brush, and I what? And I I started filling up my basket, and I said, you know what? I don't need this shit. So I only bought the brush. So y'all should be proud of me for that because I did put some shit back. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great uh, weekend. I love all of y'all. Y'all stay safe. Um, and uh, I'll see y'all soon. Hopefully. Bye. Hi, queen. I already got both palettes. All right. Bye.